In May 1961, the site for the studio building in Bathurst Road was chosen, and by July of the same year, construction work on the transmitter building began. The work began after a lengthy debate over the environmental effects of building a transmitter tower on Mount Canobles. Being the highest point between the Blue Mountains and the Indian Ocean, climatic conditions often proved a major obstacle, with snow lying feet thick in the winter months. Despite the weather, the construction work went ahead on schedule. Meanwhile, at the six and a half acre studio site in Bathurst Road, Orange, construction work continued throughout the adverse winter conditions of 1961. Building materials were arriving day by day. One of the biggest loads included 80 tons of steel beams for the main studio. A 20 ton mobile crane had to be brought from Sydney to handle the positioning of the huge steel beams. Work then commenced on the excavation of the 20-foot holes for the foundation of the giant mast soon to be erected on Mount Canobles. The tower was designed to stand up to the rigours of variation of the orange climate and the buffeting of the strong Mount Canobles winds. The highly skilled workers who constructed the tower were Italian riggers who were noted for their agility and fearless behaviour while working at great heights. By early February 1962, the mast reached its final height of 390 feet. The twin antennas were hauled to the top and bolted into position, ready for test transmissions to begin. It was an exciting occasion for the whole of the central western area of New South Wales, when on February the 16th, 1962, the first CBNA transmission of a test pattern was beamed from the mountain. Technicians waited anxiously for the reports of quality of reception and were highly satisfied when reports indicated an excellent reception over a wide area of the state. The Bathurst Road studio became a hive of activity as technicians began installing and testing technical equipment which was arriving daily from all parts of the world. Every effort was being made to have the station on air by the 17th of March. March the 17th arrived at last. CBN Channel 8 was officially on air. Two of the celebrities who contributed to the opening night's programs were Bobby Lim and Johnny O'Connor. In September of 1963, the company was granted the license to serve the Central Western Slopes area and planning began immediately to extend the service already provided through CBN Channel 8. The new station was to be named CWN Channel 6 and was to be located on a high peak in the Warren Bungles named Mount St. Cruick. Programs originating from the Orange Studios were to be relayed via microwave link to Mount Bodangra near Wellington and then on to the CWN transmitter. In 1965, the CWN6 transmitter building was erected in conjunction with the PMG department, who jointly financed the building and must with Country Television Services Limited. Transmissions from CWN6 commenced on the 1st of December 1965. The official opening of this station was celebrated at a function held at Coonabarabran, attended by company directors and civic and business leaders of the local and surrounding communities.
one another and we'd say Those were the days, my friend We thought they'd never end We'd sing and dance forever and a day We'd live the life we choose We'd fight and never lose Those were the days, oh yes, those were the days of the Teddy Boys in The Day of the Elf. This is 6, 8 and 9. I'm living in the 70s.
prime keeps those love good vibrations are happening to me prime keeps those love good vibrations are happening to me prime keeps those love good vibrations are happening to me When you get home, you're gonna feel alright There's one place for fun, morning to night Kick off your shoes, curl up tight What a week we celebrate night That's what I want When the day is done Summertime's time for summertime prime. Summertime where we live. Summertime where we live. Let the good times shine. Summertime's time for summertime prime. Let the good times shine on summertime prime. There is no other place that I would rather be. Than here in this great country By mountains, lake and sea There is no other place That offers me so much My town has got the life I love It's got that magic touch It's here that we are young It's here that we have grown it's here that life is truly full. It's here that we call home. We call home. Cause this, this is where we live. Yes, this is where we live. This is our country, our home. This is where we Yes, 
takes the jukebox is really a jump The bass guitar and the drums they really fun Everybody's learning from what they did a long time ago Listen to the music now turn up your radio evil roar of the air conditioner greeted another endless desolate day and the ghostly incandescent glow of the fluorescent tubes permeated the desolate corridors. <laughs> <laughs> 